Hey, what's up? It's Jim and I just got back from the new film Snow White and the Huntsman. This film is a revisionist take on the Snow White tale. The evil stepmother, played by Charlie Theron, needs to destroy Snow White and eat her heart and then she has Im immortality and will forever be young. And Snow White, played by Kristen Stewart, on her way to have her heart ripped out and eaten by somebody, she escapes and goes to the dark forest. And so the evil queen sends the huntsman, who is very trained in going to the dark forest, apparently. But then the huntsman meets Snow White and decides, I don't want to do that anymore, much like in the Disney cartoon. However, in this one, he goes along and helps her and is her ally while she goes and tries to defeat the queen by getting to like this other kingdom and she's gonna have this army and they're gonna fight the evil queen and get her kingdom back that was taken from her by her evil stepmother after she killed her father. This kind of movie was the kind of thing that when I was a kid I would be really excited for because I really liked fantasy film and in the pre Lord of the Rings days fantasy movies were kind of bad and a lot of them were all right at the beginning but then when the film really gets into the plot they kind of forget about character development they're just way more interested in the plot less interested in the characters and that becomes less interesting for me personally as an audience member and this film has a lot of that but in a way I kind of like that this movie isn't perfect it isn't structured well no one besides the huntsman is very well developed very serious the villain is just like a caricature of a villain it's just like i'm super evil <laughs> like the black cauldron had that as well which i read recently obviously the director rupert sanders has a love for fantasy film especially 80s fantasy and i mean it reminds me of even structurally like willow and legend and black cauldron i really like the design i like the troll that came out i thought that design was amazing all the design of any animal or any creature i thought was great i really like the special effects despite the fact this film wasn't that great i actually like how it was made how it was shot there is a little bit of shaky cam which no i really don't like shaky cam and i didn't think it worked so much but this director got it to work a lot better than most directors can. It really feels like more of a classic uh, fantasy film, or at least a fantasy film from the post-Star Wars wave of fantasy films. And this is kind of me waxing romantic about a shitty pizza place that I, for some reason, I like the exact way they make shitty pizza. And that's kind of the way Snow White and the Huntsman is. Like, my major complaint with John Carter or most big budget summer movies is I always want kind of cool design, you know, like Black Hole, or even Black Cauldron is another example. There's a lot of craftsmanship that went into it. Charlize Theron's character, who they start off actually really developing. I actually quite liked where they're going with it, but then they just kind of drop it and make her just overall evil. Then you have Kristen Stewart, who is basically playing the movie star role. It's very, but she's doing it in a very vapid, vacant, absent way. Chris Hemsworth, however, he looks like Joe Kubert drew him or something. He was made to be in fantasy films and he is so good at it. I just, I really like Chris Hemsworth as a star because there's certain people who like Viggo Mortensen or Sean Bean who like they so they're so perfect at being a guy who like has a sword with him he has the physique of someone you'd imagine who would like you know strike someone down with an axe that's like just what he was born to play also the dwarves were actually really good there you have Ian McShane and uh, Nick Frost is actually in it Toby Jones Ray Winstone and uh, Bob Hoskins they weren't too annoying either which they were they were getting close to it you know i'm surprised they did i'm glad they held back like some of the shots in this remind me of frank frazetta they remind me of ralph bakshi's fantasy work like it had incredible framing and the way he cut it and everything i mean there's there's a lot about this film i like but it's not a great movie it's an all right movie but with a lot of craftsmanship it's a victim really of its own genre which is all right because really this movie is exactly what i want it to be it's just kind of a fun vapid little fantasy but it has a lot of respect for the fantasy genre it's a vapid movie but it's a vapid movie that someone cared about making so if you have seen snow white and the huntsman and you would like to talk about it then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to